Mm, right. Professional, st uh, professional stands. The IOPC have acknowledged the email I've sent them and I've sent it straight back to professional standards. <laughs> Bunch of lying fucking con artists they are, aren't they? Um, right. I'm fairly convinced, in, in light of no other evidence to point any other direction, I'm fairly convinced the police have squirreled off somewhere and got my phone number secretly. Um, and that was them phoning on Sunday. I, I don't know anyone else that would phone us on a Sunday on a with you don't even get tele sales on a Sunday, do you? Um, so they've gone off and got that unlawfully because there's no reason for them to have it. Um, and they're, they're phoning me up to try and get some sort of verbal contract out of me. Either uh, uh, we want you to come to a voluntary interview, which all you say is, am I obliged to? They cannot say yes, because of course you're not. But then of course they, they consider they have the right to arrest you because they're stupid. Um, or they would have phoned me up waxing at lyrical about they wanted to investigate 25 years worth of theft from the public purse, blah, 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 because we've had that one before. And it was probably an unlawed call. Um, because, of course, I think now, the, the video I did on Saturday, the, the comedy fictional prize, Booker Prize, um, is the stake that's pierced the heart of the vampire. <laughs> and I think they've panicked. <laughs> And now, of course, as well, they have actually admitted watching videos, plural, and not just picked on one or two where I've said one or two nasty words to people. Um, they are all now complicit in 25 years worth of theft in the public first. Because uh, that was a confession we'd never had before. But it, sadly, he didn't clarify which videos he'd watched, so... Um, I've lost me thread now. So I was going to do this whole email, but it's it's huge. It's seven sizable paragraphs, and there's, there's at least six minor points attached to one of the paragraphs. What I'm going to do is read out the beginning bit, and then point out a couple of interesting um, uh, uh, irregularities. Uh, referring firstly to the paragraph, details of local resolution action plan outlined, outlined by investigating officer. If bailiffs and others don't want threats, I suggest they stop ignoring legal, lawful procedure, as can be seen in many of my YouTube videos, such as a letter from the local council stating I was not allowed to contact them in any way, but still expecting a council tax, the incorrect date of birth on a court summons, incorrect reading of my rights on at least two occasions, pushing away into my house without, without my permission, again at least on two occasions, acting upon an unlawful court summons issued by the Chief Constable himself and I had not been charged or arrested with any offence, not having warrants and lying about it, ignoring evidence, withholding evidence, telling me I'm not allowed to give evidence, and detaining me in the cells for the entire weekend and then losing the evidence for questioning the validity of an arrest, to name but a few. Um, so that paints a pretty fucking picture, doesn't it, Cambridge Police? That's you. Um, now, they seem quite insistent that no crimes have been committed. This fucking laptop. So I've listed a few. Because they, they said clearly in the, um, uh, well, so-called report, that the police officers had seen the paperwork the bailiff was carrying. So we'll start off with A, condoning an unlawful out-of-date warrant, B, threatening behaviour, C, assisting a private limited company bailiff who was impersonating court personnel, and possibly a policeman, because he did apparently identify himself as one, aggravated trespass, failure to identify themselves as a reason for the visit or they had any lawful reason to be there, also trespass, misappropriation of public funds due to the number of officers involved, which was never clarified. Which is another point I'm going to get onto in just a second. Intimidation, attempted false arrest, attempted false detainment and imprisonment, or imprisonment, assisting in unlawful court hearings, device trickery whereby they were attempting me to coerce into either losing money or my liberty, as has been proven already on my YouTube channel, if I refer back to the first paragraph of this email. <sighs> Which is the one I just read to you before. Um... And yes, of course, uh, Sergeant Carl, fill your face. I did say that uh, the officers all toddled off back to work afterwards and none of their duties had been disrupted. 
Um, however, you never clarified how many were there, and you never clarified their fucking names, because you don't know how many were there or who they were. So how the fuck can you know that their duties were not disrupted? You lying piece of fucking shit. Um, and I think that about covers it, really. Like I say, steak, piercing heart of vampire. Um, yeah, wall-to-wall -wall fucking lies from Carl Fill Your Face. Sergeant fucking whatever your number is. <sighs> wow. So, yes. That, as I say, in light of any other evidence, that was the police phoning. They were basically trying to trick me into somehow speaking to them whether they were turning up at mine or I was turning up at theirs. I don't think you really listened to me when I said that if I'd been shot seven times and someone had set me on fire and there was a police station 20 yards, I wouldn't bother fucking crawling to it. Because you're all vile fucking lying pieces of shit. I think they missed the important bits. Um, yeah. So there you go. It was a police thing and they were attempting to trap me because this is obviously, you know, cat among pigeons, fox in the hen house, yeah. Bad luck, Cambridge Police. Oh no, don't go up now. God, why do I keep doing that? 